Welcome everybody, it's episode 41 of the Poke Guardian podcast, hope you've all been keeping well since the last one, and today it's myself, Taj, also known as Poke Taj, and I'm here as usual with Zachariah. Hello everyone, it's been a while. It has definitely been a while, um, so we're back, um, so hopefully you guys will get regular podcasts from us again, but let's start our podcast as we usually do, Zachariah, um, card pickups, let's see what you've had. Well, we've had a long yes. time since our last uh, podcast. Um, anything yeah. that uh, comes to mind that you've picked up since the last one? Definitely. Um, I have, again, like so many copy cups, uh, they are uh, part of my collection now. So, But I think the most crazy one is, um, you all know it, right? Oh, yep. <laughs> I'm representing my country, right? <laughs> For, Has oh, to be done. Yeah. Felt uh, Pikachu with a grey felt hat promo. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's here in my hands. This is the one I picked up in the museum, and I'm very happy with it. And uh, it's in a nice case here as well. Excellent. The most notorious card in the past year. And other one is that I had in my collection here is the Yokohama. I was called again Dice V Star. Is here collectible coin damage counts and V Star marker. Nice. This one uh, is is metal, I believe. So and there's Lugia here. As you can see here on top of uh, P- besides Pikachu hat, super nice item. I'm very happy that I uh, have great friends that bought one for me in Worlds. Some other cards, nothing out of the ordinary. I pulled this one from a pack recently, the fluffy character wear from Silver Tempest with uh, Elisa. A very cool card. Stunning card. Yeah, I still love that card. Yeah, and I, I believe that's really it for, for this uh, card pickup. I think let's just keep it brief. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Oh, um, well, myself, yes. I did get... I've also got the Pikachu with a felt hat, but I won't show that one. Um, I've got this wonderful... Um, nice. the, the starter deck from Wells, and it does have the Pikachu promo in there. I did... Uh, now, this is, a, this is a sort of tale that you all need to know. These are easily openable from the bottom. So my one is sealed. Or the lighting there might give it away. But you can just flip it open and then flip it closed again from there. Uh, mine has definitely got the promo in it. I got this from a friend of mine who actually picked it up from the store at Pokemon World. So happy to get that with a Pikachu promo in there. And then I also went to... Um, we're going to be talking about Paradox Rift in a little while. And I do love these little inserts they put into the pre-release boxes now. Um, so I went to Paradox um, Rift pre-release. I got myself a Porygon Z AR card. Beautiful looking card. It's weird seeing some of these cards before they come out in um, Japanese as well. Yeah. Uh, there we go. We got uh, Snorunt. And uh, then I, I was lucky enough to also pull a Tabu Koko EX Full Art. And my best pull was the Mela full art, which uh, I was I hadn't even seen the artwork of this going into pre-release. So that was a real surprise to me. Beautiful looking um, full art supporter. And then from Japan, I got a couple of uh, full art supporters I needed for my master set. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it. So that's our card pickups. Nice. Let's let's move on, shall we? It's that time of year now, isn't it, Zachariah? It is yes. high class time. So the high class set for this year in Japan has been released. So for those of you who don't know, let's give you a bit of history about what high class sets are. The first one came out with Battle Boost GX, I think it was, Sun and Moon Era Year One. Yeah. Um, prior to that, there was CP sets um best of xy was the last one so there is a set that comes out every year around november december time and it's a japanese card game pokemon card games version of the best cards of the year the most playable cards the best cards you want and then they add a little bit of spice in there as well yeah and you get a couple of new cards so this year's set is called um shiny treasury x it's been officially revealed uh, no surprises there i think and it's pretty, the artwork on the pack looks very similar to previous years as well. A bit like Shiny Star v, v I think. Yes. Um, and a bit like Battle Boost GX as well. So very similar styling there. Um, you're going to have 190 cards in the main set. And then question mark, question mark, question mark, as they always yeah. say. Um, but we've already seen what the what's included, which we'll talk about in just a moment. It's a usual high class setup. So it's a slim booster box. Um, with 10 packs in each booster box and each pack contains 10 cards. So there's going to be uh, a guaranteed EX or better, which we know that happens every single year. 
with high class sets. So um, let's talk a bit more about it, Zachariah. So what are your initial thoughts? My initial thought, uh, thoughts are, um, I didn't anticipate that this would be released for a third time, right? Yep. The discussion was always, if they do another shiny set, the, the assumption would be they wouldn't go back into this format of, you know, shiny sets. Yep. And the best next thing was be would be a special art shiny set. But unfortunately, it is not. And in my opinion, uh, GX Ultra Shiny was an amazing set because there was nothing like it in the past. Yeah. Yeah. And it laid the foundation <coughs> for what Pokemon card sets are today. It really brought a new craziness into Pokemon sets. And, and that set is among the very top sets of, you know, you have full art cards, really, right? Black and white full art cards. I think those yeah. are a milestone in Pokemon trading card game. And I think GX Ultra Shiny fits in that list as well. It's a milestone in a Pokemon trading card game. And then you had Shiny Star V. For what it was in 20, 2020, there was nothing out of the ordinary in the first year of Sword and Shield as well. That changed until Battle Styles came. Yep. <laughs> changed the whole landscape of Pokemon cards for what it is today. And hence why in the beginning I said, it's a little bit tricky to release the set. And I am very, I'm not necessarily hyped. I will grab a few boxes, don't get me wrong. This is still an amazing value set. Yep. But I think uh, a third time, it's a little bit more bland. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a full art card with... A, a different coloring, and that's it. And the speculation was from so certain people, yeah, you, you don't know if there are uh, not special arts confirmed or character rares. I mean, I never rule anything out. Yep. But when they advertise a set like this with all shiny, all shiny cards, right? The SSR rarities. I think it's very unlikely that a set like that, compared to Venus Climax or Vista Universe, is going to get a bunch of special arts. I think at best most five or ten, right? Yep. But uh, it's a big, big shiny set. If you are a big fan of it, go ahead, right? And uh, it will sell, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But uh, I think it's a, bit, a, little, a little bit stale. What do you think, Tosh? Yeah, my, yeah. my first impression with this was, meh, all right. Yeah, it's, it's first year of, you know, um, the new... TCG video game era so you don't want to give everything away and you want to keep things a bit maybe basic so they've gone back to the tried and trusted formula you know you've got your baby shiny cards and you've got your SSR cards um, so yeah I was like oh, not really super excited about it having seen it so many times before so I mean previous seedings where you used to get I think three baby shinies in a booster box and an SSR and then you would get a full art as well if you were lucky. So um, those were the seeding. So yeah, we're going to get full art supporters, which are going to be unique, maybe SAR supporters. And then potentially we might get a few SAR Pokemon, but it's not going to be major. The majority of the set is going to be this, the vanilla S cards and SSR cards. Um, they're going to be your main hits that you're chasing. There'll obviously be a few new cards in the set. I think we've had Clive, which has been um, revealed right. as a supporter. <clears throat> so you usually get one or two new cards in the set, but the majority of them are going to be reprints from throughout the year um, of the super playable cards and super collectible cards. So great pr product um, for people who are new to the game. We always say they bring out new starter decks in the summer. Um, to get people into the game really cheap starter decks and then they bring this out at the end of the year so those people who've just got into the game during the summer have now got an easy way for themselves to build up play sets of those most playable cards to be able to build decks with and then what you'll find is in January uh, February set you will have a, a premium trainer box released um, which will then complement this and your starter decks to be able to help you deck build because you'll have all the all the other tools you need to build decks with very tried and tested formula with pokemon japan they do it every year and it works um yeah. <clears throat> so i think the only disappointment here is obviously we expected this the only disappointment is we've gone down the s and ssr route again but again you know um those who've just joined the pokemon card game recently this is this might be new to them and it'll be exciting yeah personally um what i think of this set compared to jack's shiny and 
I think Jax Ultra Shiny aged better because it included the the best of cards from the the first two years. Yeah. And Shiny Star V and this set are in the first year. So what the issue now is, for example, yeah, uh, Paradox Rift, you know, the SV4 set in Japan, uh, Ancient Jordan, Future Flash, are uh, literally just released. The issue yeah. is this is a subset of that set, the main yeah. set of Ancient Jordan and Future Flash. And I know, just like Battle Styles, for example, the cards in that are meta game breaking cards. And what you have is not those cards in shiny form. And I think this, in my opinion, that's, that's a shame because, yeah. and, and they know it, of course, right? This is a highly tactical set to release because how do we get, this is Charizard in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Podio stars are also in there. And you know, again, they can't give too much value for uh, the customer. It's just, yeah. they have to have something left for a year two. And uh, here we are. I personally think, um, again, like I said, amazing set. Regardless, you're right. If you are a player or collector, this is a dream to open. Yep. You got a guaranteed EX in every set. You, you can't, and every pack, you can't beat that. Yeah. And um, it will release my birthday as well. So <laughs> <laughs> who knows what I uh, pull from the set. But honestly, um, yeah, I think I will reserve judgment until full yep. release. I think the same, uh, same as well, Taj. Um, you yeah. will reserve the judgment yeah. until it's released. But uh, for now, yeah. It's not looking that great for us. No. no. I mean, on, on a positive note, from what I've previously experienced, <clears throat> you don't get a single duplicate in any of the high-class sets. I think there might have been one set where you start to get a couple of duplicates. But generally speaking, Big. all your EX cards should be unique. Um, all your common uncommons, which they're not labelled as common and uncommon in a high-class set, are usually unique as well. So, so it's very good for a collector, but also good if you want to build a play set. You buy several boxes, you're going to have more chance of getting play sets of almost every single card. So great set, as we said, coming out first to December in Japan, 5,500 yen, tax included. Um, and good luck getting hold of them if you are in Japan. <sighs> Moving on, let's talk about the latest set SV4K <clears throat> Ancient Raw SV4M Future Flash. We had all the cards revealed, so the SR, AR, SAR, UR. I will be opening some boxes um, on my channel. I managed to get win the Amazon lottery this time and get one box each. I've also got a couple more boxes of each coming from a friend of mine in Japan. <clears throat> but let's talk about this set. Um, some great artwork in here. Um, each yeah. set had 12 AR cards in each. Um, five SAR cards, three Pokemon SARs, two supporter SARs. Um, we've got the three URs as usual, a Pokemon, an item slash tool, and, and an energy, and three full art supporters per set as well, and plenty of Pokemon. I think it's five, six Pokemon per set in full art as well, including your Terra Pokemon. Um, <clears throat> what do you think about this set? Personally, These sets, uh, should I say? Yeah, dual set. I, I think, I think this set, um, regardless of the artwork, uh, first and foremost, it will age super nicely in terms of competitive yeah. uh, play. But the artwork, I think, is just as brilliant. I, I think there's a amazing variety. Uh, what, what what I was fearing, uh, that they might put the more emphasis on, or too much emphasis on a Paradox Pokemon. Yeah. Personally, you, you, a lot of people are not still used to the Paradox Pokemon, right? Yep. So this is all new for, for everyone, right? Um, I think the, the special arts and art dress, phenomenal, really. I think it's a great mix and selection. Uh, only downside is, um, no, really, there's no downside. The person, that's, that's something for everyone. And I think <laughs> that's what these sets are great for. There's yep. something for everyone. Tomagatsu Kume is in there. Kirisaki is in there. Kantoro as well. Uh, Rika as well. The artist Rika, right? Uh, not not the Pokemon uh, uh, character, but there's just the artist. Yukomori even got an art track again. There's so, Akira Agawa also did a couple of those uh, special art. And yeah, I was super hyped to see an Akira Agawa yeah. um, support SAR for the first time ever. Yes. Um, but honestly, yeah, I think they did the, the, the Paradox Pokemon Justice and uh, yep. the other non-Paradox Pokemon also just as phenomenal. And uh, yeah, I think 
it has to be done, of course. You know, they ca- cannot ignore these poster Pokemon. Amazing card. I, I think I have nothing uh, much to say. I w- would have uh, appreciated to see a, a mouse hold DX special art, right? Yep. But you can't have everything. <laughs> That's yeah. true. That's true. The merchandise, um, <coughs> the mousehold uh, <coughs> Pokemon Center stuff, I think was very popular as well. Yep. So um, can you imagine if they do a special art rare of the EX yeah. card? Would have been. I've got I've got one of the deck boxes in my um in my basket on the Pokemon Center Japan. Yeah, so it's yeah, very, it's very tempting. <laughs> it is very tempting. Um, but yeah, yeah, as you say, um, this is a bit of a unique set because some of these cards, like I said, you know, I saw a card, um, some of the cards at pre-release which I hadn't even seen in Japanese because um this is a weird set we had this similar with i think it was um a set last year wasn't it which the pre-releases earlier yeah yeah uh, the sets released the similar time in japan i think japan set released a week before officially the english set but the pre-releases were before the japanese sets were released so really interesting that but yeah there are some stunning artwork i think there's a little there's something for everyone in both of these sets um stunning artwork the ars just keep seem to it's, I, I can't believe how, you know, they seem to get better and better every set. And it's like, yes. how can they exceed the last set? It's just amazing. The, uh, the, um, Hangry Morpeko looks amazing. That's, you know, a couple of standouts for me, you know. Um, yeah. you've got the, is it the Loud, uh, Loud Rail? Um, but NC Empire? I can never remember. Let me, let me check. W- with- Wimscat, um, Whismer, uh, Loudred, yes, Loudred, Loudred, exp- yes, not yeah. explode, Loudred. yeah, not explode. I always get confused when there's two <laughs> evolutions, and you know, yeah. um, Hydragon, I think it was. There was a ancient, no, the future one that looks a bit like. I Hydragon. think it was called Arwen Jugulis. I'm not. Yeah, I think it's called that. Yeah, it gives me a bit of Miami sort of um, vibes, yeah. that card, very much. Fantastic but yeah, card, yeah. Absolutely. Lots to pull from these sets, as you can see. So we've got like um, 18, 24, uh, 29 hits for, you know, 29 um, of these AR or better cards from each set. So stunning, stunning um, yeah. looking cards. The prices are not too bad as well. I believe uh, Mela is, is like 10,000 yen. And I believe um, Tulip also is around that uh, price point, the special address, yep. right? So to be fair, this set, and on the market, this you can get boxes quite easily. Uh, you even got boxes yourself from, uh, yeah. was it Amazon, right? Yeah, for, yeah, for the that's right. So there's more supply. It's getting better. I think it's very positive. Um, because again, still, it's quite an exciting set. Not as exciting, of course, as, you know, Clay Burst or 151. That, yep. that those sets still are, by the way, the made, of, made to order ones are slowly coming in yep. to, uh, people who have purchased that made to order again at Pokemon Center Online in Japan. So again, we are getting better with supply yep. and the market price for these are very, very good as well, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a few, like like we're saying, there's a few for players, there's meta-defining cards in these yeah. sets as well. So um, really good sets, very affordable. Um, yeah, looking forward to opening mine very soon. Right, moving on to the English version of this that included um, that uh, other set prior to this. Roaring, Roaring Flash, was it or something? Surf? Raging, su- Raging, R- Raging Surf. surf. <laughs> Raging Surf. I can't remember all the... Yeah, so Paradox Rift in uh, English uh, and the West was revealed, officially revealed. So it's made up of, of the three sets that, as mentioned. <clears throat> and the official spiel says, you know, we've got um, uh, ancient Pokemon like Roaring Moon EX and Sandy Shocks EX. There's a Sandy Shocks EX, which I happen to pull. Um, and uh, alongside future Pokemon like Iron Valiant and Iron Hands EX, artificial future Pokemon, should I say. And then the seven Terra types as well. So all in all, there's going to be 20 EXs in this set, seven of which are Terra, 13 are EX, 34 illustration rares, 15 special illustration rare Pokemon and supporter cards, uh, 28 ultra rare full art etched Pokemon EX and supporter cards. Love the word etched. Uh, seven hyper rare gold etched cards and over, uh, over 180 cards in the set, generally speaking. Um... So we've got the new mechanics as well, obviously, with um, Ancient yes. and Future Pokemon as well. Um, but it is pretty much what we've already talked about and seen, I think. I mean, some great yes. products. Obviously, the Pokemon Center 
in the UK, Canada, and USA have got the exclusive ETBs as well. Um, but we have seen the artwork for the regular ETBs, pack, uh, pack arts for the booster packs as well, uh, and a few official products, including um, booster boxes and um, uh, blister packs as well. Yeah, I think the Electronic Box promos, uh, Screamtail and uh, what's it called again? The the Deli Bird one. <laughs> I, um, I, yeah, the... Iron Bundle, Iron Bundle, that's yes. That's it, that's it. Yeah. I think, like we discussed, phenomenal art trick and yep. there are genuinely people very hyped getting this promo and even locally here and I can cannot blame them. <coughs> it's just, in my opinion, amazing... Uh, and also nicely done because it's not some random Charizard in Obsidian Flames. No, yeah. uh, I think that the Charmander in Obsidian Flames was a bit random in my, yep. in my, to my taste. This is truly on theme. Amazing. Uh, the Jacqueline blisters and the three pack blisters, not my favorite, if I am very honest about it. But well, what can you do, right? Yeah. Nothing, uh, I think this is a solid release. Uh, what, um, I saw though was uh, during pre-release the the reverse cards are mail foil. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. I'm 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 sure you must have seen it. For example, if you pull like a future ancient card, the foil yep. is mail foil type. Yes, yeah, yeah. I noticed that. There's yes. a different foiling on them. Yeah, that's very in- interesting to me. Yeah. Um, that's the first. That's also first for me. I've n- not seen that kind of type of foiling yep. on English card before, which is super cool in my opinion. I really, really like it. Um, I'm not sure if the um, the feature or you know the, uh, the 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 little squares. I don't know if they individually uh, are foiled or not, because that effect would have been would look very cool. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I've got any to hand. I don't think I have. Yeah, no, I've, um, but yeah, I, I think you're, you're right. There, yeah. they did look with the yeah. with the dots. It looked. Yes. It, it gave it an extra effect, didn't it? As such. Yes. So it's interesting to see. Yeah. Cool. Cool set. Yeah, but I do like, like you're saying, I do like what they're doing with the ETBs, differentiating them a bit, having the promos in them and having really uh, good promos, um, and that then that then differentiates ETB a bit from the. Um, the um, booster bundles we're now getting as well, which are a new yeah. product, which we've had in recent sets, where you get six booster packs for MSRP in a bundle, um, which is quite nice if people just want like a cardboard deck box and six packs. That's great. Exactly. Um, you know, it's a great little product. And we still got the build and battle stadiums as well, which again, mixed sort of opinions on those. It's two, I mean, if yeah. it's two build and battle kits, the so pre-release kits and some packs in there, but... Um, not my favourite. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. Um, I don't think I've ever bought one, but um, the price is just not not that great for it. But yeah, some great products again. They've done this sort of split the ETB, so you've got two different ETBs to collect, which is quite nice, sort of mirroring the fact that it's a double set in Japan. Uh, and there are two different aspects of the set to look at as well, the ancient and the future. So because we're introducing the new mechanics, it's always good to have that. But yeah, a great product officially goes on sale on November the 3rd. Obviously, there is already a lot of products out there because people have been opening pre-release. So, um, But I would wait until the weekend when everybody starts opening all their products if you're going to pick up singles on this one, to be fair. Exactly. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think I've covered uh, <laughs> the most important bits from uh, these three sets. Very exciting times up ahead, I believe. And um, yeah, let's see what these uh, these sets do. I am I am truly excited for Shiny Treasure X that they will include some big surprise that yep. I will say on the next episode. I was wrong yep. on this set. <laughs> I think everyone does at this stage. Yeah, but, uh, we have to be realistic, right? And uh, there, there, there's always yeah. going to be one thing that you know. There's going to be something yeah. else that they just chuck in. And you see it when it comes and you're like, wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that. So let's hope we do get something like that from that set. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So we'll wrap it up. So uh, thank you so much for joining us on this podcast and we'll see you all on the next one. If you've got any questions in the meantime, please go to pokeguardian.com, click on the contact us section, uh, send us some questions in, more than happy to uh, respond to those as well. And in the meantime, stay safe. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a good one, everyone. Goodbye.